Hello, I am delighted to speak to you all to mark the South Asian Heritage Month. I was born in Kerala and raised in Bangalore and uh, spent half my life in India uh, before moving to the UK in 2001. That heritage has shaped my Christian imagination in so many ways and has given me a million gifts, but I will restrict myself to sharing just four with you today. The first is what I call the dignity of dependence, by which I mean the value of trusting and depending on people who are different from you. In India, there are many languages, many different cultures, spiritual traditions, many different religions uh, and economies and ecologies, and none can be neatly separated from the others. I had the such good friends who were Muslims and Hindus, as well as Christians. Friends on whom I relied on, depended on, friends I admired, friends I learned from. This gave me a sense of belonging in diversity. In other words, not what it means to be part of a multicultural society, but an intercultural one. This, I think, is crucial part of learning what it means to be a church, to be one body, as Paul writes to the church in Corinth. Although we have different gifts and callings and are diverse in many ways, we are one interdependent whole. The second gift I learned from India is that around complexity. Nothing in India is straightforward, whether it is our politics, our economy, or our social structures. There are no easy answers or simple solutions. But I think that in itself is a gift. Complexity builds resilience and often creativity. It also happens to be a fantastic preparation ground uh, to be working in the Church of England. Uh, joking aside, I think it has helped me relate to God, who is far beyond our understanding, and a faith that is full of creative and paradoxical tensions. As it is South Asian Heritage Month, I cannot forget to talk about the importance of history to Indian culture. Where some countries think of histories in terms of centuries, in India we think of it in terms of millennia. The oldest Vedas go back to 1500 BC and the Indus Valley civilization even more ancient. So for me, legacies matter, stories matter, and how we honor those who have gone before us matters. I think this gives me a greater appreciation of genealogies and histories within scriptures and why it is so important for the New Testament writers to show how Jesus grew out of and fulfilled the story of Israel. Finally, and perhaps most importantly to me, it is the gift of hospitality. Of course, we Indians are known for our food and our drink, but our hospitality is so much more than just eating food together. For me, it is a spirit. It is a posture that wherever I am, whatever the encounter, I'm thinking, how can I offer a sense of belonging and acceptance. Hospitality is also hugely important throughout the Bible. Caring for the stranger comes up time and again in Hebrew law and in Jesus' teaching. And I love what the writer of the book of Hebrew says, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. So by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. So my appreciation of hospitality has its root in scriptures, but the way I learned to practice it is certainly cultivated in South Asia, in India. 
there you have it as we mark the South Asian Heritage Month, Dignity of Dependence, Resilience Around Complexity, Depth of Histories, and my favorite, Hospitality, Precious Gifts, for which I am eternally grateful.